Hey, how's it going, one? Go ahead and fix this. All right. So happy Sunday. I hope you guys are doing. Uh, I hope you guys are having a good weekend. <clears throat> if you don't know me or this channel, my name is Miguel Fuentes, and I am the uh, host of the uh, Kingdom Faith Outdoors channel, and also a, uh, a minister as well. And uh, we're gonna get into the word shortly. Been pretty successful morning this morning. Uh, went out fishing this morning. Just really spent time with God and, and spent time just just being in outdoors, you know. And I uh, come, you know, call myself a uh, seven pound uh, female blue catfish, which is pretty pretty ironic. I I thought I thought they would be out of bed uh, sooner than later, so which is a good sign. So today we're we're, we're gonna be uh, getting into Psalms forty one through forty five, and uh, before we get started, let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for the time together as the body of Christ. Lord, you are holy and righteous. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your creation. We thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. Father, in the name of Jesus. Excuse me. Uh, Lord, I came here boldly before your throne. Lord, uh, we confess our sins unto you. And Lord, we repent of our sins. And Lord, we ask that you'll forgive us and wash us clean by your blood. Lord, fill us, Lord, with your Holy Spirit so that we can walk righteously before your eyes, Lord, and to walk in your ways. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Psalms 41, if you got your Bibles with you, let's go ahead and get started. Listen, uh, listen to the word. Psalm 41, to the chief musician, a psalm of David. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive, and he shall be blessed upon the earth, and thou wilt not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. The Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of languishing. Thou wilt make all his bed in his sickness. I said, Lord, be merciful unto me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. My enemies speak evil of me. When shall he die, and his name perish? And if he come to see me, he speaketh vanity. His heart gathered iniquity to itself. When he goeth abroad, he telleth it. All that hate me whisper together against me. Against me do they devise my hurt. An evil disease, say they, cleaveth fast unto him. And now that he lieth, he shall rise up no more. Yea, mine own familiar friend in whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread, hath lifted up his heel against me. But thou, O Lord, be merciful unto me, and raise me up that I may requite them. By this I know that thou favorest me, because mine enemy doth not triumph over me. And as for me, thou upholdest me in mine integrity, and settest me before thy face for ever. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, from everlasting and to everlasting. Amen and Amen. Amen. Uh, for, 42. Psalm 42. To the chief musician, Maskil, for the sons of Korah. As the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsteth for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my meat day and night, while they continually say unto me, Where is thy God? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul in me. For I had gone with the multitude, I went with them to the house of God, with a voice of joy and praise, with a multitude that kept holy day. Why art thou cast down, O my soul, and why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance, O oh my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore will I remember thee from the land of Jordan mm -hmm. and of the Hermonites, from the hill Mizar. Deep calleth unto deep at the noise of thy waterspouts. All thy waves and thy billows are gone over me. Yet 
The Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night his song shall be with me, and my prayer unto the God of my life. I will say unto God, my rock, Why hast thou forgotten me? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As with a sword in my bones mine enemies reproach me, while they say daily unto me, Where is thy God? Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. Chapter 43 Psalm 43 Judge me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. O deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man, for thou art the God of my strength. Why dost thou cast me off? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? O oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me unto thy holy hill and to thy tabernacles. Then will I go unto the altar of God, unto God my exceeding joy. Yea, upon the harp will I praise thee, O God my God. Why art thou cast down, O my soul, and why art thou disquieted within me? Hope in God. For I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. Chapter 44 <clears throat> Psalm 44 To the chief musician for the sons of Korah, Maschil We have heard with our ears, O God. Our fathers have told us what work thou didst in their days, in the times of old. How thou didst drive out the heathen with thy hand, and plantedst them, how thou didst afflict the people, and cast them out. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them, but thy right hand, and thine arm, and the light of thy countenance, because thou hadst a favor unto them. Thou art my king, O God, command deliverances for Jacob. Through thee will we push down our enemies, through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow, Neither shall my sword save me, but thou hast saved us from our enemies, and hast put them to shame that hated us. In God we boast all the day long, and praise thy name for ever, Selah. But thou hast cast off and put us to shame, and goest not forth with our armies. Thou makest us to turn back from the enemy, and they which hate us spoil for themselves. Thou hast given us like sheep appointed for meat, and hast scattered us among the heathen, Thou sellest thy people for naught, and dost not increase thy wealth by their price. Thou makest us a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and a derision to them that are round about us. Thou makest us a byword among the heathen, a shaking of the head among the people. My confusion is continually before me, and the shame of my face hath covered me, for the voice of him that reproacheth and blasphemeth by reason of the enemy and avenger. All this is come upon us, yet have we not forgotten thee, neither have we dealt falsely in thy covenant. Our heart is not turned back, neither have our steps declined from thy way. Though thou hast sore broken us in the place of dragons, and covered us with the shadow of death, if we have forgotten the name of our God, or stretched out our hand to a strange God, shall not God search this out? For he knoweth the secrets of the heart. Yea, for thy sake... Are we killed all the day long? We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Awake, why sleepest thou, O Lord? Arise, cast us not off for ever. Wherefore hidest thou thy face, and forgettest our affliction and our oppression? For our soul is bowed down to the dust. Our belly cleaveth unto the earth. Arise for our help, and redeem us for thy mercy's sake. Hi, 45. Last one. Psalm 45, to the chief musician upon Shoshanim, for the sons of Korah, Maskil, a song of loves. My heart is inditing a good matter. I speak of the things which I have made touching the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Thou art fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured into thy lips. Therefore God hath blessed thee for ever. Gird thy sword upon thy thigh. O most mighty, with thy glory and thy majesty, and in thy majesty ride prosperously because of truth and meekness and righteousness, 
and thy right hand shall teach thee terrible things. Thine arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies, whereby the people fall under thee. Thy throne, O God, is for ever and ever. The scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore, God, thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. All thy garments smell of myrrh and aloes and cassia, out of the ivory palaces whereby they have made thee glad. King's daughters were among thy honorable women. Upon thy right hand did stand the queen in gold of Ophir. Hearken, O daughter, and consider, and incline thine ear. Forget also thine own people, and thy father's house. So shall the king greatly desire thy beauty, for he is thy lord, and worship thou him. And the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift, even the rich among the people shall entreat thy favor. The king's daughter is all glorious within, her clothing is of wrought gold. She shall be brought unto the king in raiment of needlework. The virgins, her companions that follow her, shall be brought unto thee. With gladness and rejoicing shall they be brought. They shall enter into the king's palace. Instead of thy fathers shall be thy children, whom thou mayest make princes in all the earth. I will make thy name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore shall the people praise thee forever and ever. Amen. Wow. What do we got here? Um, <clears throat> the psalmist expressed the, the trust in, in God's mercy and seeking restoration and healing. Um, in chapter 41, we see victory over betrayal. And I want to read to you uh, the Gospel of John, chapter 13, verses uh, 18 through 30. Um, and it reads, I speak not of you all. I know whom I have chosen, but that the scripture may be fulfilled. He that eateth bread with me has lifted up his heel against me. Now I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that receive whomsoever I sent receiveth me, and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. When Jesus had thus said, he was troubled in spirit, and testified, and says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that one of you will, uh, that one of you shall betray me. Then the disciples looked one on another, doubting of whom he speak. Now there was leaning on Jesus' bosom one of his disciples, whom Jesus loved. Simon Peter therefore beckoned to him, that he should ask who is, who who it shall be of whom he speaks. He then lying on Jesus' breast says unto them, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, He is it to whom I shall give soap when I dip it. And when he had dipped the soap, he gave it to Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. And after that soap, Satan entered into him and says, then says Jesus unto them, Thou that thou doest do quickly. And after the and now no man at the table knew what 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 intent he speaks on uh, well what intent he spoke this unto him. But well, some of them taught because Judas had the bag that Jesus had said unto him, Buy those things that we have need of against a feast, or that shall give so something to the poor. They, then 
he then, having received the soap, went immediately out, and it was night. Interesting. Psalm 42, talk about the deer puns for the water. We see in chapter 43, send out your light. <laughs> in chapter 44, redeem us, O God. And this chapter is very, very interesting. And we see this in Romans uh, chapter 8. Verses 35 through through uh, 39. And it says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulations or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, For thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep's. For the slaughter. So Paul made this reference in Psalm 44. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angel, nor principalities, nor power, nor things past, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Very, very interesting how, how Paul made a reference in Psalms 44. Um, and then in Psalm 45, we see my heart is stirred by a noble theme. You know, it's all about learning about trusting in the Lord, trusting in His mercy. And and I, and I close with this. Offer a profound reflection on the human experience of faith encompassing the depths of sorrow, the longing, the trust, and the celebration. I hope that this sermon blesses you. I hope this word blesses you. It's, it's very, very important to, to be in the word on a daily basis. And, um, yeah. So may God bless you. May God keep you. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.